Hi guys, I am 38 weeks and 3 days pregnant today and I am tired and huge, <laughs> so big and I started getting pregnancy puff like I can tell in my lips and I can tell um, my wedding ring had to come off I think I could probably fit it back on but by the end of the day I'm so sausagey that it's not worth taking it off and putting it on and I don't want it to get lost so yeah I am just very very pregnant I'm very 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 tired um I'm back to having trouble sleeping um which is no shocker but I can't get comfy with the pregnancy pillow um the baby does this weird thing um not that I blame the baby because they can't be comfortable um <laughs> The boy that I watch, Max, he has a cold, and I think he gave it to me. That's why I have, like, this deep, manly, manly Gaston voice. Anywho, um, when I lay down, obviously you can't lay on your, your back, so I lay on my sides, but then it may be, makes the baby scoot all the way to the middle of me, like my stomach, and it's really uncomfortable. Um, and that's either side I lay on, so... I also was getting brave and um, eating before bed again. Not a good idea. Um, <coughs> so like last night I slept better because all I had before bed was a glass of milk. I wanted ice cream. <laughs> I settled for milk to help with my acid reflux. Um, I actually haven't taken my Pepsi yet today. Hasn't been too bad. Um, getting less restless legs at night, getting restless body. I am so sorry for all the yawns. I cannot stop. <sighs> Excuse me. So, I'm sorry. Um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at 4.10. And it's with Kaiser. It's with a um, doctor. I have, I mean, I always have Kaiser, but it's with a doctor I've never met before. So, ugh, I'm not looking forward to arguing about not um, scheduling a repeat C-section. So, I can't decide if I'm going to be cranky with this doctor, or possibly bitchy. I don't know. We'll have to see where the mood takes us. Um, I have been having a lot of Braxton Hicks, but not like randomly. It's usually like, if I'm sitting down and I stand up, I get a Braxton Hicks. Or if I'm standing up, you know, just walking around doing my thing and then I sit down. It's like when I change activities. Um... I, I mean, I guess I do kind of randomly get them, but not very much. It's not like I have primordial labor or anything where the contractions just keep coming. Um, I'm nesting, but I am also tired. So it's like the things that I need to do, like folding laundry, I have no desire to. No desire. <laughs> but I have a desire to get everything ready for when the baby comes, so like... We need to rearrange um, the bedroom. We're going to move a bookcase into the closet. Um, the side of the closet that has all the, the baby stuff that we're going to need, like the car seat, the rock and play, and, and like the little bouncy chair. I'll need to come out. Like, I want to do that, but I can't do that without Will. He needs to get all the newborn clothes out. Um, I eventually need to wash those. Um, I... I really want to get that kind of stuff ready, but I don't want to fold the laundry or clean the kitchen <laughs> like I always do. <laughs> I don't know if uh, this actually qualifies as nesting, but um, that's what's going on there. Let's see, I... Yeah, I'm a little stuffy. It's been raining here. I mean you know, a few times in the past few weeks, and, but it's, I still feel like my whole mouth and my whole, like, everything is just dry, so it's like I have this scratchy voice, and I don't like my humidifier, so, sorry, apparently I'm just going to complain this entire video, I am so sorry, um, there's a meme that I posted on my Facebook page, um, it's a giant, like, I don't know, an ape or gorilla or monkey, and it's just huge, and it says, I am so ready to have this baby, and that's how I feel. I mean, this monkey's just huge, and that's how I feel. I just am so huge, and it's hard to breathe, and 
I'm getting to the point where it's like I'm a week and a half from my due date. I've told myself this entire time I'm going to go to 42 weeks. But now that my due date approaches, I'm doing what every woman on earth does and just hoping every day that I go into labor. <laughs> every night I get up to pee and I'm like, is my water going to break? No. So I think that the main reason, I mean other than being uncomfortable, is because I'm so anxious to have this VBAC that I'm just afraid as, as more time goes by that my body's not going to go into labor by itself. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's just a lot of, a lot of stuff right now um, that has been, yeah, just, again, making me uncomfortable, making me doubt myself. Um, thank goodness I hired the doulas. <laughs> because when the time comes, I'm going to be very excited. Um, but yeah, I have my doctor's appointment tomorrow. I weighed myself this morning. I am 178. I have no idea what I was last week. Um, but it's probably two or three pounds up from last week. And um, makes my total weight gain for this pregnancy so far 18 pounds. So not too bad. Um... So yeah, I am just going to go ahead and show you guys my 38-week belly and measure so you guys can see it in all of its gigantic glory. Uh, it's a little chilly today, so I'm just wearing a sweater. Yeah. So... Whew. So yeah, I definitely feel like I can see my stretch marks more. I don't know if you can. Belly button. And as you can hear, I sound like a winded rhino. I'm just super winded all the time. Alright. So. I am measuring. 43 and a quarter. So yeah, just very, very, very full of baby. So, here. As usual, I do not feel like I've dropped her. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I will talk to you guys for week 39. Have a great day. Bye.